Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas McGee and in this video we're going to talk all about how to create an editorial calendar for WordPress absolutely free. Okay, so if you run a blog or a brand or a website or some sort of web-based business, there's a pretty good chance that you are pretty regularly creating content. So this is pivotal for a lot of different reasons. And a lot of times it's a good idea, if you can, if you're not already, to try to aim for about one piece of content a week. I'm not quite as stringent as some people are on this. They say if you're not writing or creating something every single week, then people are just gonna forget about you. At a bare minimum though, you probably wanna create something once a month, once a week is good. I know there are even some creators out there who do something every day, who blog every single day. Now, the medium isn't necessarily as important as the regularity and the quality of what it is that you're providing. So again, if you're doing a blog, if you're doing a podcast, if you're like me and you're doing a video, whatever it is that you're trying to create, try to create some sort of consistency. Now, I know that one of the things that has made that a challenge for me in the past was, you know, I'd always wait till the last minute or something like that. And so the next day would be when the piece, you know, the article was supposed to publish or the podcast episode was going to go live or something like that. And so it always just kind of led me to either rush it out or cut corners where I otherwise wouldn't do that. So one of the things that's been really helpful is batching. And you're probably familiar with the concept of batching where what you do is you create, rather than just creating one piece or, you know, one article or one podcast or one video, you know, once a week, you pick a day once a month or every two weeks and you do a whole bunch of them at once. So real quick, here's a rough overview of my workflow. What I do is I am constantly coming up with ideas throughout the week. If you've ever been in the, the boat where you're staring at a blank page, ah, oh, I've got a blog post due tomorrow, but I don't know what to write about. What I do is there's always ideas that come up throughout the course of a day. So I use an app called Things by Cultured Code. It's for Mac. You can use literally any to-do list software to accomplish this. But if an idea pops into my head, I always make sure that that gets tossed into things. And I just kind of use that, at, I just use their quick hotkey. I just write down that idea real quick and then I've got it kind of logged away. Then what I do is I try to schedule out one day where I create anywhere from three to five outlines, text outlines for my videos. This could be the same time when you're writing your article or creating your show notes for your podcast. What I'm doing is I'm doing a really basic outline of the particular video I'm going to create, kind of the concepts and the bullet points of what I, the value I want to deliver to the people who are watching. And then along with that, within those notes, I create the actual YouTube notes, so the description that gets pasted below the video. Uh, and then I write up the email that actually gets sent out to my list to tell them that the new video is ready for them. So it's kind of the planning phase. I get probably three to five of those ready in one session and they're ready to go. Then another day, I schedule out some time to actually shoot all those videos. So what I'll do is I've got those notes and I just kind of create them in succession and I uh, finish all the shooting. And then I, after all the shooting's done, do all of the editing and I kind of streamline that workflow. What I've found is that A, I can get way more done. B, I can deliver the amount of value into each individual video that I want to. And C, it makes scheduling much easier. Okay, so that's the rough overview. So you might be wondering, okay, so what does an editorial calendar have to do with this? When you start batching, when you're starting to create a, you know, a bulk of content that you wanna schedule over time, in WordPress, that can actually be a little bit hairy to work with because you gotta work with their date pickers and everything else. So a little while back, I came across a free plugin that just makes this a lot easier. And so in this video, now that I've kind of given you the concepts of when and how and where you would apply an editorial calendar, let's go ahead and take a look at that plugin, how it works and how to get it set up for your WordPress website. Okay, so here we are with a brand new fresh install of WordPress. We can take a look at the editorial calendars plugin. So. Uh, first thing we want to do is let's jump into posts real quick and just kind of take a look at what it is like right now if we wanted to start scheduling out posts. So we've got this Hello World post, it's already published. But if you wanted to actually go out and publish this particular post, 
you would have to go through every single one and use this uh, calendar in order to schedule it out, which isn't too big of a deal, but it can be fairly tedious if you are scheduling, like I said a little bit earlier, like three to five posts at a time. Plus, it's just not a very good visual way to be able to see all this post in context with all the other ones. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into plugins. Let's go to add new and let's click editorial calendars. Just type that in. It should be one of the first results and it is. We're going to click install now and then we're going to click activate. Okay. So then we're going to see over here on the left hand side, uh, underneath post, we're going to have this button for calendar. Now here's a great thing. If you have custom post types in your particular WordPress theme, it'll also support those. So every single individual custom post type will have this little calendar tab in order to manage it in a kind of calendar format, which is exactly what it does. So it's going to show you all your posts laid out in a calendar format. That way you don't ever have to worry about uh, going into each individual post to create something. Now here's a little trick. Now what you're going to be able to see is anything that you've already scheduled will show up in this calendar. Anything that was published will show up in this calendar as well, but it'll be gray. But here's the great thing. You can go to any day. Let's say we want to start planning out and we're going to, we're going to schedule our posts out on Wednesday. You can literally just from the calendar view, click new post. There we go. So we can type today. Uh, and then if you want to, you can even pick a day or, or a time on that day that you want this particular post to go live. We're going to keep this as a draft for now. We're just going to click save. And then there you go. You've got that planned out and no problem at all. Then if we went into posts, you'll be able to see that it's saved right there as a draft. So let's see, we had a, let's say we had another draft that we hadn't scheduled yet. And let's go ahead and save draft. Let's go back to our calendar. Then what we can do is we can click this button up here and let's say we've created a whole bunch of drafts that are not associated with a particular day. I can click this and we'll see that right here is where they would all list out. So what I can do is just take this and drag it to the next possible day. This, this particular piece of content could go live. So there we go. I could then click on it. So let's say we can go quick edit pops up here. Say our publishing time is 5 a.m. Click save and there we go. And that's the great thing. You can sit here and you can plan, you can create drafts. You can say, yeah, you know what? What if we kind of switch this around a little bit? Maybe I want that one to go live here. So it's a wonderful, easy to use uh, user uh, interface for WordPress for planning out your posts. You can use this as your calendar. So like I'm doing here, you can actually just type out quick draft posts, drag them around to the days and the times that you want them to go live. Um, or you can just, as you're writing them, just use this as a quick visual way to plan it, to see what's already scheduled out or where you're going to move it around on the calendar. So it's a great tool, especially since it's built directly into WordPress and it is absolutely free. Okay. So hopefully you found that useful. Uh, as always, if you did hit that like button, subscribe, if you're not already and until next time, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.